All right. This is the uh, this is the encoder board. As it says in the interface, it connects to the Atmega 128, and it's interfacing via SPI. So that will be shown in this test. Well, I guess it won't be shown, but it's in the code. You have to trust me, because well, there's no other way to interface except for SPI with this. Um, the way this test basically works is that we uh, we've connected the the, L, the our little LED test board here to the Atmega as well, and it's programmed such that when we turn our knobs, a big shiny fun knobs here, um, clockwise one LED will light up for this one. This is the knob one. Um, the furthest LED over here will light up when it's going clockwise. The next one will light up when it's going counterclockwise. Same thing, knob two, which is actually the center bottom one. This one and then knob three, or knob two going counterclockwise, knob three going clockwise, uh, knob three going counterclockwise, four going clockwise, and four going counterclockwise. So we should be able to see that when we turn the knobs. Here we have the first one going clockwise. We have it lighting up, going counterclockwise. Second knob we have clockwise, counterclockwise. Again, clockwise. Oops, not touching the other one. Clockwise, counterclockwise, and then clockwise, counterclockwise, and clockwise, counterclockwise. A little bit of a ghost, but not a big deal. And uh, yeah, that is the test for the encoder board. That also proves that the Atmega 128 is be able to communicate via SPI. And, uh, yes, that is the encoder board and part of the Atmega test.